RAID in Computer System What is RAID? RAID is an acronym for Redundant Array of Independent Disks or Redundant Array of Inexpensive Disks. It is a data storage virtualization technology that combines multiple physical disk drives, hard drives, or solid-state drive, into one or more logical units for the purposes of data redundancy, performance improvement, or both. RAID configurations employ techniques such as, striping, mirroring, and parity to create large reliable data stores. Striping is the technique of segmenting logically sequential data, such as a file so that its consecutive segments are stored on different physical storage devices. These different physical storage devices are treated as one logical storage device for storing data. The data is striped into chunks and stored on all the storage devices at once. This improves performance speed. Mirroring is the replication of disk volume onto separate physical disks in real-time to ensure continuous availability. This ensures the redundancy of the data. Parity bits are used for error detection in the data. It is used to validate the integrity of the data. In RAID, parity is used to achieve data redundancy. If drive in the array fails, the remaining data on the other drives can be combined with the parity data to reconstruct the missing data. The most common RAID configurations or RAID levels used are RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, RAID 10. RAID 10 is a nested form of RAID 1 and RAID 0. Nested RAID configurations or levels provide benefits from multiple RAID configurations. There are other nested RAID configurations such as RAID 01, RAID 50, RAID 60, RAID 100, etc. RAID array can be implemented by hardware or software. In a hardware RAID system, the processing of disk arrays is offloaded to a dedicated processor, on the hardware, referred to as RAID controller, to manage the configuration. Most commercial applications adopt this approach. It can be implemented on any operating system. Software RAID system uses a normal disk controllers available on the motherboard and the operating system. Software driver is loaded which helps the system to communicate with the disk drives and is less expensive. Note that RAID controllers can periodically read and check all the blocks in an array, including those not otherwise accessed. This is known as data scrubbing. This detects bad blocks before use. It uses redundancy of the array to recover bad blocks on a single drive and to reassign the recovered data to spare blocks elsewhere on the drive. Same storage capacity disk drives should be used in an RAID array, Otherwise, the lower capacity drive in the array will bottleneck the efficiency. For example, if a 100 GB disk is striped together with a 320 GB disk, the size of the array will be 100 GB times 2 is equal to 200 GB. So, instead of using a complete 420 GB of storage capacity, it only uses 200 GB for RAID configurations. However, some RAID implementations allow the remaining 220 GB to be used for other purposes. Note that, while most RAID levels can provide good data recovery from hardware defects such as defective sectors, read errors, and hard errors, they do not provide any protection against data loss due to physical damage or soft error, user error, software malfunction, or malware infection. For valuable data, RAID is only one building block of a larger data loss prevention and recovery scheme. It cannot replace a backup plan. This is all the basic overview of RAID and its uses. Thanks for your time and patience. Have a nice day.